Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the new Adria 24 made by the company Tutio. Now, they've been making dual motor bikes with 24 inch wheels for a little bit now. And some of those bikes peak at 3000 watts. This one allegedly peaks at 4000. So that's a lot of wattage and this is dual motor. They say this thing goes 40 miles an hour, maybe a little bit over 40 miles an hour. We're gonna find out. Um, today is just an initial ride day. I'm gonna start doing more videos like this for bikes that I think are gonna be fast and a good value for you guys. So you get as much information as possible so you can make an informed decision as a consumer on which bike is the best bike for you to buy. Because right now this thing is I think like $16.99 with my code. I'll leave the link in the description below. You guys use that link. It will help this channel at no extra cost to you. And who knows, maybe you're gonna get a lot out of this bike, save a hundred bucks using my code, especially since it's a smaller form factor. It's got the smaller 24 inch size wheels. So without further ado, let's take this thing out on the road. We got a full fresh charge. And by the way, I did install a handlebar riser stem. I had this kicking around, so I was like, yeah, why not? I like the more upright riding position, but your bike will come with a normal handlebar stem that kind of sticks out a couple inches out. So your seating position is gonna be a little bit more aggressive than this one right here. Here we go, let's see how we do. Oh yeah, I feel that front wheel wanting to lose traction and that was a rolling start. Let's see how we do from a dead stop. Here we go. Oh my God, whoa, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the power. Going up this mild hill like it's not even there. All right, all right, we got some power. <laughs> We're gonna do two things today. We're gonna do a top speed test and we're gonna do the grassy field area hill climb test because it's on the way. Why not? We'll see if it can do it. Give you guys a little teaser for the full, oh my God, the front wheel. <laughs> it looks like based on GPS speed, this bike tops at about 35 miles an hour. So I don't think we're gonna hit the claimed 40 something mile an hour speed, but sometimes these motors are geared more for torque and less for top speed. So let's see if it can do the steep hill climb in the grassy field. And remember guys, these wheels are smaller, which means that these motors are gonna have more leverage moving the wheels. So the smaller the wheel, generally speaking, the more torque the motor can give you to the wheel. Man, that front wheel wants to lose traction. You could feel there's some serious torque in this. We're just gonna try this hill. See how it does. Do you hear a little bit of rattling from the back? I think that's because, you know what, I just realized I didn't finish tightening the rear light. And it sounds like, yeah, this fender is tapping just a little bit up on this rear light. I might do a little bit of zip tying and just zip tie everything tight. And that will eliminate the rattling completely right there. This is a budget bike, but they give you what you guys care about because they know what you want. All you want is one thing and it makes me sick. Let's make it fair, let's start right here. Sometimes the motors start you off slower, sometimes faster, I'm not sure why, but uh, whatever, let's try it out. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Whoa, are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah, baby, oh yeah. That, guys, that went up pretty quick. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, $16.99. Dual motor. Top speed is good, 35 miles an hour. But look at the torque that you get. Out of all the bikes I've ever tested on this hill, this is only the third that's ever been able to do this. And it's the second fastest. The first fastest was my dual motor psycho cycle. That's 5,400 watts, that thing is insane. The second one was the high torque mid drive and that's only after I changed the rear sprocket to give me a bigger granny gear and that bike just barely made it up. This one actually made it up at a reasonable speed from the base of the hill. All right, I'm impressed. Tudio, I am impressed. I'm probably not gonna get the top speed that you guys claimed, but I am gonna get a whole lot of torque. And that does come into play when you're going up hills. It actually doesn't take all that much power to go fast on flat ground. But as soon as you get to a hill, in order to maintain a certain speed, 
You need a whole lot of power. Yeah, this thing rips. Wow, see this gravel right here? Oh, <laughs> okay. Man, this thing, uh, it rips. Downhill speed. We're not gonna go faster than 35 on this bike. Even from a rolling star, I just hit the throttle and the front wheel definitely lost traction for a second. Okay, all right, okay. This bike, it goes fast, 35 is fast, but it accelerates so hard. I can't wait to do the review and test this thing on the, uh, the steep hill climb test. Wow, all right, so this thing is a torque monster. That's what it is. Remember, out of all the bikes I've tested on that steep hill, this is only the third that's ever done it. That's a off the shelf bike that you can buy, no modifications necessary. That's well under $2,000. And it did it at a good speed too. I am impressed. I've never felt so much power from a front motor from a stock bike that you just buy off the shelf. Like my Psycho Cycle, you'll get that power, but I had to do my own modifications for that. I can hear the front motor wanting to lose traction. So much torque, unbelievable. And sometimes it has a soft start, sometimes it rips you. Like when we were in the grassy field area, you guys saw it, st it started me off softly. And sometimes it'll just try and thrash at the ground and lose that front wheel uh, traction. Let's see what happens from here. Yeah, see, very soft start there, interesting. But now I get full. What? How does it decide whether to start you off soft or fast? I don't know. Let's do it again. See that? Let's wait till the speedometer zero is out. Maybe that's the reason it starts soft. Okay, yeah. So it started me off really soft then. Let's do that again. Wait for the speedometer to zero out. Okay. See that? It takes a while for it to zero out. So if I stop, but then start again quickly. Yeah. Okay. So it thinks that you're still moving and so it'll give you full power but if you're at a complete 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 full stop for at least i don't know three seconds to let the speedometer zero out now it gives us a soft start yeah you gotta watch out for that let's test this top speed talk down call out the numbers for you guys yeah we're hitting 34 going this way yeah that's not gonna change and these motors they have a they feel like they have a hard limit at that speed. Now what that means is that obviously you won't be going faster than that, but it feels like there's a good amount of torque in each motor, so you will get to that speed very quickly. You'll get there fast. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this bike because if you're turning and you hit the throttle, that I can hear the front wheel wanting to lose traction. This thing is just a monster for, for torque. Wow. Whoa, yeah, see? It's losing traction. Wow, look how fast we accelerate. Wow, yeah, I saw 35 for a second, 34. So yeah, this bike with the smaller wheels and the 4,000 watts, allegedly 4,000 watts that this thing peaks at is, it doesn't go super, super fast. It's not gonna go 40. It'll go 34, maybe 35 if you're lighter, but the torque that you get is insane. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, all you care about is top speed. Trust me, this thing is going to feel fast because a lot of bikes out there, they can go maybe faster than this. I promise you, they do not have anywhere close to the torque that this has. And for the price that this thing is going for, $16.99 with my code, I think this is going to be one of the best value e-bikes of 2024. You cannot get more power than this for that price. So for the review ride, we're gonna just uh, tinker with a couple things. Yes, you shouldn't have to zip tie the fender up to the rack, but if you're gonna be buying a bike like this, expect there to be some minor quality issues for this price. What you're buying when you get this bike is the battery, 30 amp hour battery, 52 volt system, giant controller that sends 4,000 watts total to these motors. That's really what you're buying. And of course the smaller wheel size, which some people say is like a happy medium between 20 inch wheels and 26 inch wheels with the fat tires. Check this bike out in the description below. Guys, stay tuned for the full review. 
I'm gonna keep riding this thing around, messing with it and tinkering with it, and we're gonna perfect it, make sure it's fully ready for the review. I'll show you guys what I do to the rear fender to get that stabilized. It's gonna be a really simple, easy fix. But yeah, we'll see how it goes, guys. Until next time.